Hi guys, this is Rashid and you are watching Step by Step Robotics. So today I would like to show you one of the projects that I have started for a long time ago. Yeah, it's the Delta Robot, the one behind me. Actually, the application that we are focused on is the chestnut picker. Of course, the, to pick the chestnut on the ground with this kind of robot is not that super efficient. But this is a good demonstration to show the technologies of robot manipulator and the rover control and also the object detection by the AI. And yeah, you can use this robot for another application as well, depends on your AI object detection. So you can train it to grab some bottle or some trash, just as you want. So you guys might have seen one of the videos that I do the, the demonstration with this guy. At that time, I'm using uh, this flight controller, which is the AT Drive. It's the custom board that we designed in our company. So, but for this time, I'm gonna use the Cube Pilot, the Cube Purple. So the robots will go to the field in the next two days. And I think it's a good time to refresh my code and make it more cleaner and show you guys how this guy works. And okay, let's see. So here we are at the SolidWorks. So I just want to show you roughly about the layout of the robot arm and the lower. So this is a very, very simple design. It's just a prototype and proof of concept. So we don't want to spend too much time to design a fancy frame on the rover. And the first thing we want to see is it works as we want or not. So this kind of extrusion frame and some aluminum parts to attach things together, it's good enough for the first stage. So at front here, this is to cast the wheels. And at the back here, this is the brushless wheel type or AKA the AT card. It's a standard brushless wheel that we are using on many UGV and it's quite tough and shape, suitable for many applications. So we designed some interface board which can easily control the wheel with PWM like a regular ESC. So I will talk about the AT card more in detail later, but today let's focus on the Delta robot. Okay, so the height of this base plate of the robot to this moving plate is around um, 600 millimeter in this robot configuration. So, um, and the height of this frame is around 850 millimeter and the depth of this frame is around 734 millimeter. So I think this can give you a rough dimension about how big of this thing. And on top here, my intention is I'm gonna place the GPS up higher so it can get a good accuracy of the position. So the working range of this robot is around 500 millimeter radius circle and it's stoke up and down around 700 millimeter. And, but of course, this frame is a little bit smaller than the working range. So you can see here that the robot can go from left to the right. And also in the depth like this. So you can go pick up something and place here. So at this empty space, I am planning to put some bucket. And when it pick up some object and it will just stop here. So you can find more detail about this robot spec on my website as well. And I'm using the Robotist Dynamics of Servo XM540, which is quite reasonable in price and good for prototyping. They also provide an SDK, which is quite good for a developer like me. So without the gripper, it can carry the load around 400 grams. But when using with gripper, it would be much lower. So our target this time is just a chestnut. It's a very lightweight object. So this hardware configuration is good enough. So the base platform of the robot is just two aluminum plates attached directly into the servo up and down like this and attached on the rover frame. And this is just a standard parts from the robotist, the servo horn and servo bracket. 
and we are designing our own universal joint from this small aluminum cube and it has also a joint offset as well for the proximal and distal link which can increase the workspace a lot and avoid interference between links. Before, we are using a standard ball joint, but the workspace is very, very limited. So I redesigned my own and throw the old one away. And right now, it can go much, much wider. And this is the most complicated part, which is a gripper. It uses only one servo to drive both fingers to open and close and there is no linear guide or linear slider in this mechanism just only the rotational joint so the finger itself is uh, self-adaptive so when it hits the ground it's quite safe to not break the servo and when it grabs some round object it can also adapt itself to curve around the object so i designed uh, multiple lengths of this gripper and this one is the long length and this one is the short length but the one that I'm using for the chestnut picker is the medium length so we can just change this carbon plate according to the length as we want so I'm thinking to make another video to explain about the grippers and how I design it and the mechanism inside so please stay tuned and that is the mechanical parts overview. So next, let's see what is inside the controller box and let's see how it works. Okay, and this is the controller box of the chestnut picker, the Delta robot. And I'm using the six cell battery here for the main power source. And I have the DC-DC regulator to convert down the power into the 16 volt and of course the 5 volt for just a nano and the, uh, this Wi-Fi router and of course the cube purple mini so I'm using the just a nano for the object detection and also the companion computer for the cube pilot and of course the robot script is running in the just a nano as well and you may see this is the AT card interface board which is the board that I use to control the wheels by um, using just a regular PWM from the Q Purple. So yeah, I will explain about the AT card board and the uh, AT card wheels later. So this is just the basic configuration that I'm used for the Delta robot. And let's see how this guy works. Okay guys, so for the first time demonstration in front of customer, I think it should be very simple. So the rover will just keep moving forward and then when the camera detects the chestnut on the ground, the rover should stop and then the robot should go pick the chestnut and place in the collect position. So after finish the job, the rover will continue moving. So this time the cube pilot is not going to do anything much. I just sent RC override on the throttle channel from just a nano to the cube. But of course, the end goal of this should be that the robot is going to run autonomously and try to avoid an object like trees and human and grab an object that we want. And here we are, this is the robot on the real chestnut farm. So I got the videos from my colleague, he was there with the robot. And it performs quite well in front of customer, but just sometimes it's grab fail when it picked the chestnut with the shells. But for the chestnut without the shells, it can grab and drop easily. So I think I need to modify the gripper fingers to let it able to grab both type of nuts and also make sure that the shells will not stuck on the gripper. There is a lot of things that we would like to improve from rover to the robot arms and also the object detection as well. Sometimes it's a bit confused with the brown object so I think we better to collect more chestnut data and retrain the neural network to get more precise detection. 
And that is today's video, the chestnut picker. I hope you like it. So I think this is another fun project that we can use robot to help human works. So if you like this kind of videos, don't forget to hit like button. And thank you for watching.